In this video, I'm going to talk about a big announcement from Mark Zuckerberg related to AGI and Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses, the CEO of Meta Platforms Incorporated, formerly known as Facebook. He recently revealed that his company is working on building artificial general intelligence, or AGI, for AI assistance and making it open source. This is a huge deal for the tech world, and I'm going to explain why in this video. But before we get into that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. So, what is AGI and why is it so important? AGI is a term for AI systems that can perform a wide range of tasks at or beyond human levels of intelligence. Unlike narrow AI, which is good at specific tasks like playing chess or recognizing faces, AGI can learn from any data, adapt to any situation, and understand any domain. AGI is often considered the holy grail of AI, as it could potentially solve any problem, create any innovation, and even surpass human intelligence. Sounds amazing, right? Well, not everyone is so optimistic about AGI. Some experts have expressed concerns about the potential dangers and ethical implications of developing and releasing such powerful AI systems. They argue that AGI could pose a threat to humanity, evade human control, or be misused by malicious actors. They also question the motives and responsibility of Meta and other tech companies that are pursuing AGI. So, how is Meta planning to achieve AGI and what are their goals? According to Zuckerberg, Meta is investing heavily in computing power and reorganizing its AI teams to focus on AGI development. He plans to acquire around 350,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs by the end of the year, which will significantly enhance the company's computing capabilities. Meta's AI research is spearheaded by two main teams, the Fundamental AI Research, FAIR, team and a Generative AI team. These teams are responsible for advancing AGI and enhancing Meta's virtual reality world, the Metaverse. The Metaverse is another ambitious project that Meta is working on, which aims to create a fully immersive, responsive, and interactive virtual environment. Zuckerberg believes that AGI and the Metaverse are interconnected, and that advancements in AI will benefit the Metaverse and vice versa. He envisions a future where AGI and the Metaverse coalesce, enhancing each other's capabilities and pushing the boundaries of digital experience. But perhaps the most surprising aspect of Zuckerberg's vision is his commitment to open-sourcing AGI developments. He claims that he wants to share Meta's progress in AGI with the wider world and enable broader usage and experimentation in the AI community. This is a departure from the industry norm, where most tech companies keep their AI research and innovation secret and proprietary. Zuckerberg says that he wants to catalyze global AI innovation and democratize access to AGI. But is this a genuine gesture or a clever strategy? Some critics have pointed out that open-sourcing AGI could also benefit Meta in several ways. For example, it could help Meta avoid regulatory scrutiny, attract more talent, gain more data, and influence the direction of AI development. It could also be a way for Meta to dominate the AI market and the metaverse by setting the standards and creating the platforms for AGI. Now, you might be wondering, what does all this have to do with Ray-Ban? Well, as you may know, Meta has partnered with Ray-Ban to create a new collection of smart glasses called Ray-Ban Meta. These smart glasses are designed to keep you connected wherever you go, with features like camera, audio, and performance. You can listen, call, capture, and live stream, all with your phone in your pocket. Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses come in different styles, colors, and sizes to suit your preferences. One of the most popular models is the Ray-Ban Meta Wayfarer, which is a classic and iconic design that has been around since 1952. The Ray-Ban Meta Wayfarer smart glasses have a matte black frame and polarized gradient graphite lenses, which reduce glare and enhance contrast. They also have a high bridge fit and a regular size, which suits most people. The Ray-Ban Meta Wayfarer smart glasses have a 5-megapixel camera that can capture photos and videos in high resolution. You can also livestream your point of view to your friends and followers, using 5G Wi-Fi or cellular. The smart glasses have two custom-built speakers and a custom 5 mic array, which allow you to listen to music, podcasts, or calls, and use voice commands to control your smart glasses. You can also access Meta's AI Assistant, which can help you with various tasks and queries. 
The Ray-Ban Meta Wayfarer smart glasses have a battery life of up to 4 hours on a single charge and up to 32 hours of additional charge time with the included case. They also have a memory of 32GB, which can store up to 500 photos and 50 videos of 60 seconds each. The smart glasses are compatible with iOS and Android devices, and you can use the Meta app to manage your content, settings, and preferences. The Ray-Ban Meta Wayfarer smart glasses are available for $329 on the Ray-Ban website or on Amazon. You can also get them with prescription lenses if you need them. If you want to try them out in person, you can find them in select Ray-Ban stores or online retailers. Now let's see what Mark Zuckerberg post a video on Instagram. Hey everyone, today I am bringing Meta's two AI research efforts closer together to support our long-term goals of building general intelligence, open sourcing it responsibly, and making it available and useful to everyone in all of our daily lives. It's become clearer that the next generation of services requires building full general intelligence, building the best AI assistants, AIs for creators, AIs for businesses, and more. That needs advances in every area of AI, from reasoning to planning to coding to memory and other cognitive abilities. This technology is so important, and the opportunities are so great that we should open source and make it as widely available as we responsibly can so that everyone can benefit. And we are building an absolutely massive amount of infrastructure um, to support this. By the end of this year, we're going to have around 350,000 NVIDIA H100s or around 600,000 H100 equivalents of compute if you include other GPUs. We're currently training Llama 3, and we've got an exciting roadmap of, of future models that we're going to keep training responsibly and safely too. People are also going to need new devices for AI, and this brings together AI and the metaverse. Because over time, you know, I think a lot of us are going to talk to AIs frequently throughout the day. And I think a lot of us are going to do that using glasses. Because glasses are the ideal form factor for letting an AI see what you see and hear what you hear, so it's always available to help out. Ray-Ban Meta Glasses with Meta AI are already off to a very strong start. And overall, across all this stuff, we are just getting started. So, what do you think of the Ray-Ban Meta Wayfarer Smart Glasses? Do you think they are worth the price? Do you think they are a cool or creepy way to stay connected? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses, you can check out their website. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.